don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selasi Fiawoyi. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the CAF Confederations Cup and the CAF Champions League. We all know our two representatives were secured from the Normalization Committee Special Competition Tier 1 and Tier 2, and they are in the persons of Ashanti Gold and Asante Kotoko. I'm going to reveal to you the teams they are, the teams they are going to face in the preliminary round of the competition as usual if you are new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so we are all aware last year around this time football activities had been halted in the country and due to the anas expose no league action was taking place now to get a representative for us in africa the normalization committee which was put up in place in august was set up to oversee all footballing activities until a much more suitable body was put in place after an election was conducted and normalization committee came up with a competition called the normalization committee special competition that competition had two tiers tier one and tier two and we were to get our representatives for both the confederations cup and the champions league in africa from this competition ghana has two slots mind you so only one team could make each competition after the normalization committee special competition tier one asante kotoko emerged triumphant under the tutelage of coach ck akono who is no longer with them and also for ashanti gold they won the tier two competition and will be played in the CAF Confederations Cup. Those are our two representatives in the Champions League and the Confederations Cup in Africa. Now, yesterday, the draw was made to determine who these our teams will be facing. And Kumase Asante Kotoko were giving a Nigerian side. Now, the story says here that Asante Kotoko will face Kano Peles of nigeria in the preliminary round of the CAF champions league now the porcupine morris will travel to kano in nigeria for the first leg of the tie while the second leg will be played in kumase ghana now kano Peles qualified to the CAF champions league after finishing second in the 2019 nigeria premier league now the draw draw was held in Cairo on the 21st of july on sunday now Santi kotoko won the ticket to represent ghana in this year's CAF champions league after winning the gfa normalization committee special cup so that's it with Santi kotoko we now know who they'll be facing kano peles of nigeria the winner of this game will meet etoile du sahel yes etoile du sahel automatically make it to the next round i think and the winner of this round preliminary round home and away fixture who meet at well to Sahel. What do you think are Kumasi Asante Kotoko's chances in this competition? Kano Pelez, do you think they can beat them easily at well to Sahel? Do you think they can beat at well to Sahel after beating Kano Pelez? Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box. Now to Ashanti Gold and or who they will be facing was revealed accordingly. Now Ashanti Gold will face Okonangui FC of Equatorial Guinea in the preliminary rounds of the CAF Confederations Cup. The Miners will be traveling to Guinea for the first leg. The second leg will be played in Obuase, Ghana. Now, Ashanti Gold sealed their cup ticket after winning the Tier 2 Cup of the Normalization Committee Special Competition, while Onangui FC got their ticket after winning the 2019 Equatorial Guinea Cup. So, Ashanti go there, Okanangui FC of Equatorial Guinea. Those are the two teams that the Ghanaian representatives will be facing Kano FC, Kano Peles FC, and Konangui FC of Equatorial Guinea. What are Ashanti Gold's chances in this competition? Realistically, where do you expect them to end up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this issue. Ashanti Gold also taking part in the competition there as well now the fixtures will be taking place on next month on the 9th of august and it's it's, it's sure to be an interesting encounter the two representatives for ghana ashanti gold and kumase asante kotoko it will be interesting to see them in action 
again 9th of august 2019 and the second legs will take place on the 23rd of august so it's sure to be an interesting game ashanti gold versus okonawi fc who do you think will win it who will win it for the go miners who will win it for santa kotoko who are set to face kano pillars fc it's sure to be an interesting encounter and you can be sure this channel will give you more updates as and when we get them so to my next story and it has to do with the are you brothers yes jordan are you and did are you we all know were playing for swansea city before they were sent out on loan to Fenerbahce and crystal palace jordan was with crystal palace andrea you was with Fenerbahce. it wasn't such a great season with both clubs and it looks like swansea city wants to offload the brothers yes that's that's the news coming here and it says here that swansea city the club's chairman trevor birch wants to free the high ns of the club including the Ghanaian internationals now andre and jordan are returning to the swans after their loan spells at fenerbahce and crystal palace respectively while andre struggled at the turkish giants his brother endured a difficult campaign at Selhurst Park making 24 appearances however Jordan's impressive performance for Ghana at the 2019 African Cup of Nations has sparked talks Palace could make his move permanent however the Sheffield star is reporting that the pair will be released to free the wage bill of the championship side now Jordan the 62 cup international signed for Swansea from Aston Villa in January 2017 he scored 12 goals in 58 appearances in all competition before signing a season long loan deal with Palace in the summer so that's the latest with Jordan Ayu and Andre Ayu Swansea is looking to offload them what do you think about this what do you think about this and where do you think this two should look for Andre Ayu didn't have such a great season with Fenerbahce he was at one point their top goal scorer but getting to the end of the season he failed to make a positive impact in the team and fell out of favor with most of the fans and it's quite interesting what is happening with the two brothers but i'm sure before the transfer window closes they will have a club but let me know your thoughts in the comments box where do you think these two brothers will eventually end up where do you think they will be playing next season your thoughts are welcome we all know in the afcon 2019 the two of them made impressive performances for the black stars fortunately could not lead us to the final glory which is the afcon trophy we were ousted by tunisia 5-4 and the brothers did well but we were unlucky in the end but where do you think these two will end up let me know your thoughts in the comments box so that has been it for today we now know the opponents for the calf champions league in a calf confederations cup fixtures will be in august 9th to 11th and second leg is a week after but where do you think asante kotoko and ashgold realistically should be targeting to reach in this year's calf champions league and calf confederations cup your thoughts are welcome and i appreciate them in the comments box andre are you and jordan are you about to be outstead from swansea their club where they were off on loan from last season where do you think they will end up your thoughts are welcome on that as well i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day